Can you be lucky in real estate? That was a question that was recently asked on a podcast. Can you think you can be lucky in real estate? And I'll tell you, you can be lucky in anything you do, but what do you have to do first? You have to take action in that thing. You can be lucky and win the lottery, but if you never buy a ticket, you'll never be lucky, will you? So you can be lucky, but you have to be in the game. So yes, you can be lucky as a real estate investor, but you have to be in the game. What does luck look like? Well, it might be that you stumble onto a hot deal. It might be that your first deal out of the gates is pain-free or very little pain, and you might clear a $100,000 profit on your first deal. I would consider that being lucky in your first deal. You know, you may have your first time out of the gates and have no problems with the closing and no problems with construction. That's rare, but it can happen, but you can be lucky. But if you're not in the game, that'll never ever happen for you. You can be lucky in real estate, but more importantly, there's a system to it. And in flipping real estate, there's a system to it. And the system is very simple. What we teach is how we find houses, then how we fund houses, how we fix houses, and then how we flip houses or hold those houses. So really quickly, we first have to find the house, right? That's number one you have to do is find the house. If you don't find an off-market deal and you don't find it way below market value, you won't be lucky, right? You have to find that deal first and then you know how to fund that deal. You have to have the money to fund or know where to look for the money, right? And then fix the deal and all the steps that go along with it. And all that stuff is crucial to being lucky as a real estate investor. What the luck comes into play in this market is this. The market is so hot right now that it will forgive a lot of mistakes. You could buy the house wrong and be on a path to losing money, but because of the appreciation in your market, you could actually pick up twenty-five dollars or $30,000 during the six months or eight months that you're renovating the property, and that property value could skyrocket, and you could actually make more money than you originally expected. I'd call that lucky, wouldn't you? So sometimes in a market this hot, it forgives a lot of mistakes. The market will eventually level out, and it won't be so crazy with numbers going so great. And people that are uh, not skilled at what they do will be caught with their pants down. It's like saying that you're, you're, out in the, you're out in the water without your shorts on when the tide goes out. So that's people that are, are lucky today. If you use a basic, simple system and stick to that system and stick to the basic numbers, you know, we teach our students at our home flipping workshop how to use a home flipping evaluator, a systematic approach to estimating your job, estimating your cost, and building in your profit. If you use a basic system, you can almost guarantee your luck. But remember, if you're not in the game, you will never be lucky. Just like if you never buy a lottery ticket, you'll never win. But I like my odds a whole lot better in real estate than the lottery.